This video will cover the sheet metal part dimple tool. Dimples are pressed shapes in sheet metal parts. They are generally created with a punch press and die set. The basic dimple dialog box is shown here. A couple of key terms relating to this process are die radius and punch radius. There are three main items in this diagram. The punch, the sheet metal, and the die. Note the die radius and punch radius callouts. These details are shown here so you'll be familiar with these terms as they are used in the dimple dialog. This simple animation shows how a punch press and die set work together to create a dimple in a sheet metal part. This is the resultant sheet metal part created by the combination of punch and die. To create a dimple, you need to have a sheet metal model which contains at least a base feature such as a tab, contour flange, lofted flange, or a convert to sheet metal part. Here's how the process works. From the sheet metal tools group in the sheet metal tab, select dimple. The dimple dialog box appears. Select the sketch you would like to use to create the dimple. Keeping with consistency in Libre, the sketches need to be closed 2D sketches and need to be sketched on a face, not on a plane. When using the dimple tool, you will receive an error message if the sketch is too close to the edge of a part. The distance for the sketch to the edge is a combination of three times the stock thickness, K factor, and bend radius. If the face of the round is not located entirely inside of the sheet metal part, you will receive an error message. Enter the depth of the dimple from the start face. The default is two times the thickness of the part. For example, if your material had a thickness of a quarter inch, the default value would be a half inch. But you can put in a value of five inches and the model will be displayed correctly on the computer screen. It is possible to create a dimple on screen that is impossible to manufacture by entering values that do not make sense in the real world. It's up to you, the designer or engineer, to know what the realistic values are and what your manufacturer is capable of making. Enter the draft angle if needed. Only positive angle values are allowed. If a negative angle is entered, the OK button will not activate. A draft angle can be set if the part is going to be made in a stamping process. For sketch alignment, specify if the tool profile sketch is to be applied to the outside or the inside of the dimple. This option will create a radius for the dimple on either the inside or the outside of the sketch. This impacts the offset and draft angles used to create the feature. Select Cut Out Material if you want to cut out the bottom of the dimple, resulting in a drawn cutout operation. A typical scenario for leaving the material in the dimple would be if the dimple is going to serve as a stand for the part being manufactured. Check Include Rounding to include automatic fillets for the dimple operation. If the Include Rounding option is selected, the corners of the sketch will be replaced with a value in the dialog box. Die Radius is the user-specified radius for external fillets created by the dimple operation. Punch Radius is the user-specified radius for internal fillets created by the dimple operation. Check Round Profile Corners if you wish to optionally round hard corners in the Tool Profile sketch. In Label, enter a unique name for the dimple feature if desired. Click OK. This video covered the sheet metal part dimple tool. Dimples are pressed shapes in sheet metal parts and they're generally created with a punch press and die set. To create a dimple, you need to have a sheet metal model which contains at least a base feature, such as a tab, contour flange, a lofted flange, or a convert to sheet metal part.